Hi guys, you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Darling. Thank you all so much for joining once again on today's video. Let's talk about grooms counseling weddings. Like yesterday, I was um, talking about the one about the bride counseling. Let's talk about grooms. And I know that some, some people might be thinking, like, you are going on spiritual. You are going on. In fact, on this video, let's go physical. If this is the first time you're coming across the channel, please make sure to subscribe. And to all my OGs, you're the best. Comment down below. Let me know, gang, gang. Let's talk. My name is Asitonka Agri Abba. And the channel is called Asit Darling because I'm such a darling. <laughs> cheating allegations man this is one of the big reasons why guys cancel their weddings ladies to cancel their weddings because of cheating allegations you you want to marry somebody you find out he has slept with the best uh, your chief bridesmaid you have slept. do you get the, the video i did the short clip that i put before yesterday's video that was what he had slept with the groomsmen funny enough that was from a drama but you, you'll be looking at it like what is happening some grooms maybe it happened during the bachelor's party that's why a lot of people have scrapped it like don't go to a strip club you know those kind of things that these things can happen on the other side let's be very sincere the kind of culture we have you will see a lot of women making excuses in terms of cheating so even if we people see stories like oh the bride cancelled her wedding because of cheating or the groom cancelled you will see people in the comment section like uh-uh is it not normal human nature uh-uh are we not polygamous in nature do you get those kind of words so it's two ways i'm not the one that is going to advise you whether or not to cancel based on that i'm only saying that in that kind of situation you as the guy or you as the lady it's on you the reason i'm even giving this on a different video is because these are man-made problems before we go and blame village people that are maybe sitting down and eating corn you now go and blame your auntie go and blame your this the, that anti blaming video is the video before this please go and watch it on this video we are talking about man-made problem you the problem that made you carry you say oh it's village people it's a lie yo uncle you open your crow crow eye to go and carry chief bridesmaid to sleep with chief bridesmaid you you are in fact eh, i don't know whether it's serpentine spirits <laughs> that will make you want to hurt your friend like that like I don't know where you used to find bridesmaid that wants to sleep with your husband. I don't know what, what, what are you selecting? And in as much as some people want to downplay her feelings, let's understand. Do you understand? Let's understand with the girl. Because people will be like, ah, it's normal now. Nah. She here said sorry. She it will not happen again. Let us shame the friend because it's only the friend who will not shame her very well. But you shall still marry the man. I don't know if it's right or wrong because all this type of talk and the advice the moment you are at marriage i don't start advice you're already inside sorry i cannot say anything you want to stay oh you want to go anyone you let want me even give you people gist this one is the gist that brought this gist amen strippers in a wedding hey holy spirit <laughs> strippers so according to info reaching my decks that last week there was a certain wedding someone was like her mother even went for it and she came back and the woman is scarred for life <laughs> why will be telling mothers we'll be telling old people the moment after party starts please go the things that these children of wobe used to dance in after party is no good though for you people to see <laughs> that's what we advise so go but me personally i feel like there's a line sha is a line because according to info hmm, this particular wedding the girls were naked that uh, it's not brown like they remove the strips they shot stripped <laughs> the girl say her mother is scared for life that's why there, there are videos floating around i i don't think i can add those kind of videos but just know that it was really bad lap dances everything bad that they could do they did it and this was a wedding after party i feel that um that's wrong i'm not the i'm the last person that will tell you how to enjoy your day because they are day their choice i'm the event planner i like saying that like it's their day let them make choice but <laughs> why why not finish the wedding sha and go to the strip club eh just but since it's still that wedding I don't know. I don't know. Personally, just let me know your thoughts in the comment section below because 
we are talking about man-made issues things that when you enter your house now nah, you are seeing some kind of funny things you don't say is devil no. <laughs> you don't blame village people <laughs> this particular video now nah, is for physical things what do you people think let me know what do you think because i feel that <sighs> ah, don't do don't do it I know that you, you you normally go to strip clubs you're trying to be yourself we should be allowed to express ourselves i know but this is your wedding you can go tomorrow i, I assure you the strip club will still be open <laughs> but this is your wedding <laughs> that's how people you know when they started the shisha in the in the wedding venue yeah it's okay but you see eh it's like having a weed bar <laughs> inside the hall don't have the kind of enjoyment that who affects the other person to the point like because when you're smoking secondhand smokers now like the rest will start to inhale it do you understand that's just my own feeling about most of these things like if there is no open ventilation there should be the shisha bar shouldn't be inside like it should be outside it, that's just my thinking let me know your thoughts do you get you get where i'm coming from like people might have health issues I'm very serious. That's why sometimes we ask bride or groom. There's a wedding I was to do for a, a bride and she had asthma. So proper venting. This one not there for you go and spray that wood. You we, the distance between people spraying and the bride there. Eh? Hmm. It be like <laughs> it's like it's like when you go to all these uh, what they call all these um, shows that you see long gap before the stage. That was the that was our preparation like we were so prepared before the bride because of smoke do you understand because of perfume in fact we're going to write it in the card do you get how far so now imagine that you come to a wedding and probably you have health issues and you start choking they'll say eh, it's your fault now when you saw them why didn't you go and say <laughs> oh please let's just <laughs> let us i'm in the industry so i'm very open-minded but still, if I need to advise, like on a plain level, these are the like you can smoke any other day. Seriously, you can go to strip club any other. Don't inconvenience the eyes of I is a ghetto. I keep telling people protect your gates. What you see, what you hear, what you say, those are gates. Protect it. Most of this, um, that's why me personally, there's some kind of videos I don't look at. I don't want to be affected. I don't want to see it. Eh, hey, come and hear this gist. I don't want to hear. Because the moment I protect the two, where I want, where, which kind of talk do I want? Do you get? Uh -huh. So that's my own. Take. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about this strip stripper. So, no, at a wedding, full pole, pole came to wedding. You know the pole? Ha. They bring a mount pole, mount table, mint sprayers like the wedding after party turned to strip club. What do you people think? Like, even as Africans, I don't know if we're American, then they do this thing for day. I don't think so. Because you know, we when we start our own, we don't have middle. Uh -huh. Before people say we are copying the white, because Nigerians, when they start their own, this is not about copying whites, because I've hardly seen any American wedding where they, they bring strippers. I've not seen Sha. But if they are, you should know that if they bring one, eh? Nigerian weddings, they will bring seven yes yes oh yeah we need to show that it will be their mama <laughs> because a level of enjoyment we don't have middle that's how we are here because of man-made we are, we are talking about man-made problems yeah we are uh my, my previous videos you see where we're talking about bridesmaids now we're go anti-breast and co almost stripping and now we're begging them okay please so some people were like no if you dress like that to our wedding i'll throw you out some other people were like uh -uh, why would the bride dress like that what of our in-laws now ladies and gentlemen we are bringing nakedness like since breast is paining you we have decided to get to the level of bringing straight. like why <laughs> is it that you people want to test me is it that you people don't like me doing videos and complaining so that you people say i'm not civilized <laughs> i don't know why why because just, you will remember now, we're here dissecting how low the cleavage should be. I was even saying that uh, sometimes this cleavage matter uh, is because you are standing high. That's why it's showing. We we're trying to find a way to meander the situation. I will say, uh -uh, if it's a guest and she's at the back, no problem. But now, this is not clothes. This one is not, they didn't come with clothes. What we do? Uh, as it's after party. Uh, after party, they should do anything but... There should be a small line now. We don't have line again. 
Because if someone is naked, we can't top it. We can't top it. Tomorrow now, the people will start actually having sex in after party because it's what I'm used to. It's my life. My wedding, my choice. We shouldn't be doing that. We shouldn't be doing that because this, I don't want to even say, this particular wedding that they were saying, they said they went far. Hey, hey. It's good for me to protect your own ear gates. Eh, they went far, sha. They just know this and no peace. They went far. That's all I can say. They went far. Ha. It's well low because if we are going to judge people that just walk leverage, it's like those people now, nah, those who are apostles of peace. Compared to these ones, those ones are righteous. Ah ah, man made problem. So that tomorrow now, if you see some kind of funny behavior, you don't call village people. These are these things we are facing. This is man made problem. You you brought strippers to your wedding, <laughs> fam. Tomorrow, hey, don't rush and say ah, but those kind of wedding they will not last. Oh, what kind of this? You this is an altar, hmm, my dear. You go shock you. Some of these crazy people, they can last. Hey, they will so last. You go ah, they will last though because they understand themselves. But see, eh, the success of the marriage is in the duration. Is he, is duration the only parameter we use to determine success? That's why personally I don't even judge people that are divorced because when you get to the point where the two of you are not having the same purpose or whatever reason, and there is a breakup. There's no problem. You can even find love again and it's one year and people are like, ah, your love is just one year or a beggar. Don't make no. Do you get that kind of thing? They want to say, don't talk. Let this one that has been married for 27 years talk or to feel. It sounds nice that you've stayed with someone for that long, but the success is not tied to the duration. So people are very unhappy, but there's no escape. So I will not personally say, ah, you are in a happy marriage because it's long. Do you get so? My former video is spiritual. Village people just sitting down and hating you when you're such a nice girl. But <laughs> this one, nice in Kechi and the maker, decided to raise up. Ah, oh, more. Hmm. Yeah, I'm afraid of some kind of uh, me. I don't, maybe I'm just very, I don't have mind. And I agree. But these things are strange. Let's go back to reasons why grooms are cancelling. Basically, he dated her. <laughs> Engaged. They even married. But I think the marriage stayed two months. He now, he now opened up to her that he didn't really love her. That it was a bet. Are you mad? <laughs> so that's how they broke up. <laughs> when I read that in there, it remained for me to say, just name an address. Because at this point, we need to be beating people. You married somebody's daughter on bet do you know guys can be that petty yes some guys have dated somebody to the altar then i say when they ask do you take this and i say i don't why and uh, in those days she used to pose for me she used to say i was a poor boy now i have money i decided to can you imagine that's reasons why these are man-made so that tomorrow now when this guy is facing some kind of untold hardship he will not say that it's his village people some of these things are sins of the past <laughs> You use your hand to do it. It's not vi nobody in your village has hand. Me say if I can put money. It's you. You you carried your leg and you did somebody this type of thing. So that tomorrow now you marry another person's innocent daughter and go and make her to be praying and praying and praying. Simply because of the tears of the pain of course someone else. All these people that are cancelling where they up and down. Go for deliverance before you carry another person's daughter because it's a man-made problem. Mm -hmm. I've said my own. Let me even give you another gist. Eh, the Instagram one. Basically, auntie went to cut her own sleep with her hand. Like, she tore the sleep. <laughs> Some of them that like doing bets, I ain't cut sleep. She cut her sleep with her hand. Though. She wants to marry somebody. He's excited. He told a friend that he's a mutual friend. This world is small. Amen. Say that this world is... They are all connected. <laughs> he now shall went to check. Oh, he knows her. Check her WhatsApp status. Not knowing madam has blocked her fiancé from viewing her WhatsApp status. And on the status, she's she's doing all sorts, according to the reports, like you've read it. <laughs> I don't even know who to blame in this situation, because if I'm the girl's friend, fam, I'll be like, are you mad? You just come, like, nego do. All our prayers, did you get? All our, oh my God, happy for you, girl, I'm here for you, like, the wedding almost set. Since you just you cut you just made a mockery of our night vigil. 
Why? Because of, of some few uh, uh, things of the world, things of the flesh that is hungering you. Man, I just one last, last, before I enter my, like, those are the ones that cause problem. Let me just hurriedly do some few bad things. That is one of the main reasons why guys cancel. The one bad thing, he has been doing 5,000 bad things. Why did they not blame him? He are not the one, your one bad, your own one is the reason. This is how the world Joshua is. Mm -hmm. I know those that understood the message, they have taken the point, they have jotted some things down. That's all I can say. Make sure you do your due diligence. Nobody is going to do it for you. We will come and eat rice because we like food. We will come and enjoy. We will come and do all the drinking and the partying. But nobody is going to do the marriage work for you. Please do your due diligence. Before you go and pack strippers to your... <laughs> Don't kill like, oh, I have a praying mother. I have my mother can pray, eh? Your mother is praying. You are doing your own with your hand. Your mother is praying. You are not giving yourself sense. As she's praying, you are canceling it with your bad behavior. As she's praying, you are canceling You are giving that woman stress. Can't you just have sense? Is it too much to ask? And the reason I'm here is because I have a prayerful mother. Are you helping her prayer? Or you're deciding to add more to her prayer points? What kind of child is that? That would just wake up and decide to be the prayer. Most times when they're praying like this, because you they worry. <laughs> you they worry. <laughs> it, it's not just God bless my soul. God help. Hey God, let the maker not do this. Hey God, let my son not go and die. It's not just because um, they can shoot anybody on the road, but because you have bad friends. You can see, these are man-made problems. Check one of the comments from the last video I did. Somebody commented that just last week, they have cancelled wedding. Just last week. And I heard, I think also in Port Harcourt, just last week, wedding cancelled. Before you think that I'm telling folk tale, this drink I'm saying is not true. They reach hall. They say it's not holding. It's not happening. The groom have switched off his phone. The groom switched off his phone. They asked him, what is the reason? He said, I cannot continue. Sir, what is the reason? He said, I cannot continue. Eh? Is, mm? That's his reason. I cannot continue. <laughs> what did you see now, Kwanu? What did you hear? What did she do? Personally, I feel like I don't even know. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below because this is now reaching from all angles. Let me tell you the truth. Eh? I have not personally been in a, in a situation whereby a wedding was cancelled. Like it did not happen again. Um, it's a confusing thing. Even when I hear it as a wedding planner. Sometimes the curators have put in their best. The cake don't set. Like this wedding, they are just in me. Everything is ready. Ketra has dished everything. In fact, they said the groom's people said the cake, they should bring the cake to their house. The, they should, the, the groom's father came and carried drinks. The groom's mother called the caterer to bring the food. So I'm guessing maybe the groom's people paid for a lot of these things. But man, <laughs> you just look at it like photographer has, even though everybody has been paid full, nobody was, they were not owing anybody. So don't think, oh, maybe from a vendor's point, we are feeling bad because of our balance is hanging. No. Most times our balance is not hanging because before the wedding, I mean, you pay. But, fam, this is crazy. And this is real life. Sometimes, eh, you know, when these things happen, I'll just sit back and be like, mm -hmm. marriage, is, marriage is a delicate institution. Before you go in, think very well. Do you know this person? Before you go in, pray very well. Do you know this person? Before you go in, check that your future, your your goals are aligning. You know? Check that you can, because her. If there's one institution that receives fights. All right, guys. So hope you enjoyed this video. I really got acid, Dali. I don't want this video to be too long. We are just just you know these are things that happen life. Cancelled weddings that happen life. And before you think that it is far fetched, it has been happening since and it's still happening. When they give you ring. It's not, remember the video I did about somebody saying 10k ring, this ring is 10k, I cannot wear it. Oh my God, it's too cheap for me. Madam, it's not the ring that is your problem. You are entering warfare. <laughs> ring should not be your problem. As you're accepting it, don't rest. Don't, don't be too lax. It's time to start looking, start asking deep questions. Do they used to take oath in your village? Hey, 
ask deep questions. What are the things? What are the, the because there's some people have some. I'm not against culture, but you need to know. You need to ask deep questions. Ask deep questions. Very, very important. And in my village, there's one oh, of our old this thing they used to use and tie head. And they will not tie it. Everybody needs to ask questions. Stop following money. Stop following breasts. Stop following. Ask questions. So, so that tomorrow you not say, I see, did not tell you. There's physical problem that will make people cancel. And there's spiritual problem. Hope you enjoyed my video. I see darling and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.